Hey guys, welcome to my at-home Pilates workout. Today we are going to be focusing on our obliques. It's gonna be quick, it's gonna be intense, and it's going to be effective. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna lay down on our mats, roll down one vertebra at a time, softening the spine down to the floor, head rests on the mat, shoulders are relaxed, spine is in neutral. From here, I'm gonna place my hands together in a prayer position. Knees are bent, hip distance apart, heels are below the knees. We're gonna inhale here, and as we exhale, we're gonna come up crunching and crossing the palms over to one side of the body. Now, as you do so, I'd like you to make sure we're crossing over to the opposite side now, that you're not lifting your hip up off the floor. So we're crossing to one side, and then to the other. <sighs> Inhale, lower spine is in neutral. Exhale, we come up and crunch, flattening the low back into the mat. Good, so crossing over, <sighs> cinching in your waistline as you do so, really picking up your shoulder from the floor so that you get as much of a rotation around the rib cage as possible. Notice my lower body is really still and stable here. So like I said, we want to keep our hips evenly weighted down on the mat. Our knees aren't swaying from side to side. This is an upper body rotation. Good. Start to really focus on shortening the distance between the bottom of your rib cage and your hip bone every time you come up. Lifting up and over, cross and lower. Inhale and exhale, breathe in through the nose to lower and out through the mouth to lift. Plugging that belly in toward the spine every time you do so. Good work, keep it up. We've got three, two, abs in, and last one, and relax it down. Now we're gonna bring the palms facing in toward the thighs, nice long fingers. We're gonna curl into a crunch position, resting our head atop our shoulders, and we're just gonna to reach toward the calves. Reaching, <sighs> belly is engaged. Good, head rests heavy on top of the shoulders. Good, we've got eight, seven, six, really focusing on that waist. Plug belly in, four, three, two, one, and hold in the center, roll it down. Amazing work. Bring your knees in towards your chest, take your hands behind your thighs, and gently roll up into a seated position. Amazing. Find the center of your mat here, and we're going to extend the right leg out long, and we're gonna curve back into the shape of a C with the spine. From here, we're gonna place hands together, we're gonna to inhale, and as we exhale, we're gonna cross over. So extend and cross over. Lower the leg and cross over, good. So again, our hips are evenly weighted on the mat. We're just twisting in the torso. So the lower body is nice and stable. Really point hard through the toe of the extended leg for more stability. Good, we've got four, three, abs in, two, and one, back to center. Let's roll it up, stretch through the spine. We're going to bring the palms together and extend opposite leg as we curve into the shape of a C with the spine. We're gonna inhale here and exhale to twist. Keep those arms nice and strong and straight. Belly is plugging into the spine. We're twisting through the torso. Good, give it a lot of energy. We've got seven, six. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Last four, three, two, and one. Lower the leg, bend the knees and sit up stretching through the spine. Take a couple of deep breaths here in through the nose and out through the mouth. 
Nicely done. Now we're gonna keep the knees bent and we're going to do a crossover motion with the arms. So we're gonna extend the right arm out to the side. We're going to tap the left fingertips onto the right hand, twisting through the waist, and then we're gonna bring the left hand over, tapping the left hand with the right fingertips. So we're gonna switch between the two, really getting into that waistline, keeping the hips evenly weighted. So we're starting from a nice tall position. We're gonna lean back into our C curve, plugging navel in, right arm comes out, let's go. Try to get as much rotation as you can, again, without rocking around in the hips. So we're concentrating this movement in the upper body, really focusing on those obliques. If it's too much for your back to be that back that far, you can lift yourself up a little bit higher so that you're not straining. Good, twist, twist twist, abs are in. If you can, lean back a little bit further, put a little bit more tension on those abs. We've got six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center and roll it up. Amazing work. Now we're gonna switch onto our side bodies, switch positions onto our side bodies. We're going to position our elbow so it's below the shoulder, chest is nice and open here, and we're gonna stack the knees so we can come into some side lying crunches here. Really focusing on lifting up that lower hip as we crunch up. I'm gonna start off with my hand on my hip, creating a nice long line with the torso. We're gonna lift and lower, just hover. Lift and lower, good. Really cinch in your waistline, plug your belly to your spine, as you pick that hip up. Good. Nice work. Try to lift a bit higher each time. We've got six, five, four, plug navel in, three, two, and one. Hold it there, lower the hip. Now we're going to extend the top leg out long lift up onto the lower knee, extend the top arm out, and then we're gonna bring elbow and knee together. Extend and bring it in, good. So really challenge yourself by drawing your navel tightly in toward your spine every time you bring that knee in. Keep that lower hip lifted. Nice work, we've got six, five, keep that chest nice and open. Four, three, and two, and one. Bring it in. We're gonna place the hand on the hip, and we're gonna go into those hip crunches again, this time with the top leg extended and lifted. Good. Really picking up that lower hip for five, four, three, two, and one, hold at the top of the lift, knees come together. We're gonna pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold, lift the hips a little higher, and relax them down. Whew, nice work. Okay, from here we're gonna stretch out the side that we just worked. So the foot comes in toward the thigh, and we're gonna fold over and stretch through the side body, regulating the breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Reach a bit further for three and two and one. Amazing work. Okay, now we're gonna do the other side. So get nice and positioned on your mat with good alignment. So we've got our elbow beneath our shoulder, the hips are stacked, the knees are stacked, the chest is open, we're lifting into position, hand is on the hip, lower, just hover and lift. Lower, just hover the hip on the mat and then lift. Good, keep breathing, really pick that hip up, abs are in, Ooh, it's hot in here. We've got five, 
four, three, you can do it, two, and one. Good, lower down for a moment. We're gonna extend that top leg out long, lift the bottom hip, extend the top arm, and then bring it in. Good, reach and bring it in. Abs in as your knee comes in. Nicely done. Keep breathing. We've got four, three, plug belly in, two, and one. Extend the top leg out long, hand comes on the hip, lower and lift, lower and lift. For eight, seven, six, five, abs in, four, lift the hip, three, two, and one. Hold, bring the knees together, little pulses up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold, lift a bit higher, and relax it down. Bring your foot in towards your thigh, take a nice deep breath, and then fold over, stretching through the side body. Reach, 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 and then restack the vertebra coming into a seated position. Amazing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come onto our forearms. Last movement here. We're on our forearms. Our elbows are below our shoulders. We're gonna step back into plank and we're gonna do 10 hip dips. So one, two, coming out to alternating sides. Three, four, five, six, belly in. Three, two, and one, hold. Drop your knees, take them nice and wide. Sink back onto your heels, towards your heels for a moment. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Come forward once again. Last 10, step the heels back, flat line with the body. One, two, three, abs in for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Back to center. Bring your knees down. Walk back towards your knees, coming into a kneeling position. Take a deep breath, lift your shoulders up, and round them down and back. Amazing, let's take another one. Lift, and melt those shoulders down and back. Last one. and relax it down. Amazing work. I hope you enjoyed that routine and I look forward to working out with you again next time.